Two teams suit up and prepare for battle on the destination vacation season of Arena! Welcome to Arena, everyone, the show that turns multiplayer games into competitive sport. I'm Lee Rehrman, and we're continuing our journey toward this year's Tournament of Champions, where our teams will compete for an all-expenses-paid week of fun in the sun. Today on Arena, we will be playing at DOA Beach Volleyball, Call of Duty, and SOCOM 2 U.S. Navy SEALs. We've got two new squads, Team Boodles and Team Vulgar, vying for the title. Let's get right to them and the action by checking in with Kevin, who's in the console pit. Kevin. All right, thanks, Lee. Now, while some call it a sports game and others call it every man's fantasy, we refer to it as DOA Extreme Beach Volleyball. Now, our teams will square off in four two-on-two -two matches with each player using a computer-controlled teammate. Now, the games will be played to seven, and the team with the most overall points will win the round. Now, in case of a tie, we'll go to a sudden death game. So grab your bikini, and let's get it on. One. And Kevin, our console game is underway. It's Ghost for Boodles versus Neo for Vulgar. And an ace right off the bat by Team Vulgar. A little frustration. Yeah, a little frustration on this end, too, Lee. I hope this, this round only lasts about 30 seconds, because I can't hold out much longer. There's so much bouncing on screen, it's hard to follow. And the roof is on fire as the hammer comes down. It's a close one. Please, hammer, don't hurt him. Oh, and slams it right back. A ball to the chin, sends her flying to the ground. <laughs> and that's going to do it. The game's over. One to nothing, Vulgar. Two. This is now Dockafall for Vulgar versus Alamoth for Boodles. These teams very evenly matched. Vulgar with the set and spike unsuccessful. He'll reset. The camera will further nauseate me. Quite a volley once again as the score's evened up, Kevin. Too aggressive was Vulgar there. I like my women's a little on the aggro. Ooh, and the hammer comes down for Boodles. With authority. And Boodles looking to even up the console round at one game each. Rock Quite a volley. Here at match point. There. Yes. And that'll do it as Boodles evens up with a round two console victory. Three. And round three of Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball is underway. These teams very evenly matched. And Bad LT could not dig up that spike. And Triple Six is running away with this one on the strength of a spike. Bad LT was a little afraid of cracking a nail on that one. An ace for Team Boodles. And this is match pointly. And there you have it. Seven to one is the number. Bad As a dejected young lady needs some consoling, well, I'm just the man. Two to one. Boodles up on Vulgar. Four. Silent versus Freak. You gotta be honest, Lee, at this point, I've pretty much forgotten that they're even playing volleyball. And Freak slams a powerful shot down, but Silent's able to dig it up. Both these teams actually quite adept at this game, Dead or Alive. Absolutely, Lee. They certainly have the one button press down. Oh, Freak digs that spike, dives down, a little sand in the crack. Will he be able to recover? It's gonna come down to these last few points, Kevin. A little grunting and groaning by both our teams there. They're not even watching the game, though, so I'm a bit concerned. Can we get them off? It's match and point, that's it. and that's the game, Lee. Four. And we're at a sudden death round. It's the tiebreaker Neo versus the triple six. The triple six is self-destructing here in the sudden death match. Triple six better turn it, oh, turn it around. Oh, triple six is just handing him points, Lee. It's all about well-timed button mashing here, Lee. Vulgar is now at match point. They can take the whole console round right here. The sudden death, and that's it. A blowout for Neo, showing who is the boss. Oh, and the key, key, key sign. What's up? Hi, honey. Kiki? So Team Boodles showed excellent ball control, but Team Vulgar pulled it out in the end during sudden death to take the console point. Now let's check in with Stacy, who's standing by with Neo from Team Vulgar. Thanks, Kevin. Neo, how's it feel taking the early lead for your team? It felt really good. It was a little tight, a lot of pressure, but apparently the pressure was on them with all the lights and cameras and everything. Apparently they choked. Now, you know, Call of Duty, it's next. It's no bikini-clad volleyball game. What's your strategy going to be? Well, hopefully we'll be able to get to the radio first, take control of it, and then set up a perimeter, and hopefully we'll be able to keep control of it. All right. Well, now it's time to meet the rest of Neo's team, Team Vulgar, and their opponents, Team Boodles. We got our team name from a movie uh, by the same name, Vulgar. Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. Uh, <laughs> sometimes words come out that maybe shouldn't come out, or at least would be beeped on TV. <laughs> we met each other on uh, SOCOM 1. Me and uh, Brent started the clan Vulgar, and we just met these guys playing every night with them. I'm thinking we met you first, right? Yeah. Online. Yeah, yeah then I came so on and joined and 
played a couple of nights with them. Kind of from that point on, they asked if I wanted to invite and be a year in March. That we still haven't given you the invite. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're more like console gamers. I think it's just easier just having that one controller instead of being on the keyboard and the mouse. And, <laughs> and we were real excited once we heard that at least SOCOM was one of the games. So oh, it, was exactly. like, it was like, okay, we got a chance now. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the first time in 11 months that we've ever met in person. Yeah. So everything's been over the phone or online. If we win or lose, it'll be a good time because I finally met these guys. Noodles. Yeah. Like noodles with a B. <laughs> we had an hour to come up with it. It's kind of just a spur of the moment. That was the best name that we came up yeah. with. So. <laughs> noodles. It don't matter. It's just, it's just a course. winning name. That's, that's all. Bottom line. We've been playing together here for about five years, yeah. right? And we've been playing for about five four, hours. Five, five hours, hours. yeah. <laughs> we heard good things about him and my sister uh, recruited them over the phone for us. Yeah. And when we came up to Los Angeles, we, uh, and we played with him. Make sure, you know, that's his skill. Yeah. He was good enough. Yeah, yeah they're more than good enough. enough. <laughs> to be a Boodle. <laughs> We're on Arena because we enjoy playing video games together. We love competing and beating other people. Show them what, what we're all about, you know. Very competitive. Team Boodles. <laughs> Team Boodles, that's it. So Team Vulgar cleans up in DOA Extreme Beach Volleyball and takes an early lead in today's match. But our next game, like Stacy said, is anything but a bikini contest. And we'll see what happens in Call of Duty as our teams try to move one step closer to destination vacation. And that's all coming up on Arena. Welcome back, everyone, to Arena. Now, before the break, Team Vulgar won DOA Extreme Beach Volleyball on the strength of a few facials. Something I could use, I'm told, and while volleyball is fun, war is hell. As our teams are about to find out in Call of Duty. Let's go to Kevin and get things rolling in the PC ring. All right, thanks, Lee. Now, Call of Duty is a squad-based shooter that drops players into the European trenches of World War II. Now, the game mode is headquarters, where the objective is to capture and defend a randomly placed radio. Today's map is Brecord. It's a fairly open environment that features plenty of natural and man-made cover. So let's see who will claim the two points for this round. One. And here we go, Kevin, Call of Duty. We've got the Allies, Team Boodles, versus the Axis, Team Vulgar. The objective is to capture the radio, establish a headquarters, and hold on to it. OK, they got to the radio, guys. Looks like the allies have secured control of the radio, Lee. For each 45 seconds they hold it, they get 45 points. Silent for Team Boodles, camping the radio, trying to defend it. He does an excellent job as he takes down uh, the member of the opposing force. You see where he is, right? There, he's behind the building, behind the building. But now Silent's taking heavy fire. He goes prone to avoid it. Shit. But he doesn't avoid it long enough, and he gets taken out. A member of Team Vulgar is there destroying the radio now. Destroy the Ah. And two members of Team Vulgar storm the radio, Lee. Ghost for Team Boodles trying to take them out along with his teammate. But Ghost gets taken down himself. Nice shot. Towards the side of the bunker. And looks like the triple six is taking out Bad Lieutenant. He lives up to his name, Lee. <laughs> Team Boodles doing an excellent job of protecting that radio after having established that headquarters early in the round. I'm at the radio. Cover him, cover him. I'm on minus six. And they are destroying the radio, Lee. And they have managed to do it, but unfortunately, that's not going to earn them many points. Right side, right side, right side. I've got, like, no health. Team Vulgar showing some life here late. Doc of all en route to the radio. He's there with his teammate. That radio, dude. We need this now, guys. We need it now. And they do manage to secure the radio, Lee. They're going to spawn by the ruins, so watch out. I got this side here. Doc of all crouched down in the trenches. Palamoth for Team Boodles approaching that radio. Sniper. Neo taking some fire. Team Vulgar will lose this round one. They show some life at the end. There's two rounds left, Kevin. Two. Round two underway. That first round was all boodles, but some life from Team Vulgar at the end. Go inside, go inside, go inside. You got it. And right away, some firefight breaks out. Oh. And boodles, three strong in the radio room, manages to capture it. And it's all the allies early in round two, already in control of the radio lead. Cover the outside. Outside. Okay, we got a man. We got a man. I see a man straight up. And Dockafall takes down Ghost and. Talamoth takes down Dockafall. A little bit of retribution there, Lee. And Freak for Team Vulgar takes out a member of the Allies. Get that radio. I'm at it. And Bad Lieutenant trying to They're salvage this one for radio. his team. Managing to destroy the radio. It looks like he's going to be successful, Lee. And yes, Team Vulgar has managed to destroy the radio, earn themselves some points. Grenade some in the face. We indirectly challenged them to put it together here in round two, and they have done so. Freak and Dockafall both taken out here. 
Looks like Team Vulgar is too strong as they try to make their way to that radio. Make that ah, one strong. Right back in again. Let's go. And Talamoth for Team Boodles doesn't make use of that lane feature as he bounces a grenade off the wall and takes more damage to himself. But he makes good on it, manages to take out Bad Lieutenant for his opposing team. Excellent grenade toss on the second round. No, watch out, watch out, freak. Grenade, grenade. But Talamoth gets taken down. Neo with a well-placed shot. That radio's still in play. I'm getting radio, guys. I'm getting radio. I need help. Duck if I'm under six. Triple six using that Garand mows down Freak with three well-placed shots. Team Bulger has set up their headquarters, having grabbed that radio. You're gonna get the radio. But Team Boodle's wasting no time in destroying it. They managed to do just that, Lee, and earn themselves 26 points. The radio's behind us. Bad Lieutenant in the trenches, Talamoth for Boodles in the bunker. Oh, I see, I see. I got a drop on Still anybody's round, Kevin. Bad Lieutenant takes down triple six. I got it, guys, I got it, I got it, I got it. Axis has now set up their headquarters, Team Bulger. Whoever has the radio last or whoever destroys it last could be victorious here. Dockafall crouching in a corner, catches an unsuspecting member of Team Boodles. And Dockafall again from that corner takes down Talamont, successfully defending his radio. We hold it, we got it, we hold it. And they it, we have got managed it. to score themselves 45 points because of that excellent D Lee. And what an amazing struggle we have on our hands, Lee, as round two of Call of Duty comes to a close. And Vulgar wins as the Axis inches ahead in round two. Yeah, we got it. Hey. All right. So how did we lose that last one? What happened? Three. And round three is underway here, Kevin. The Allies with Boodles versus the Axis with Vulgar. One to one. This will determine the Call of Duty victor. It's inside the bunker. Axis has immediately out of the gate grabbed the radio and set up at headquarters. I have a feeling Team Boodles isn't going to allow that for long as they start chucking grenades deep into that bunker. Jump for needs. And unfortunately, oh, a little man, friendly man, fire oh. as Talamoth is taken out. And Team Vulgar doesn't allow that to slip by them. They take him out as well. And the Axis are in control of this radio until the next spawn. Unless Ghost from Boodles can make this happen, Lee. Ghost taking some fire. I'm not sure if he was out of ammo, but he was using his pistol there. And it didn't exactly work out as he gets taken down, and the Axis score 45. So far, it's been all Axis here in round three as they seek to take Call of Duty. Bunker is under attack. Notice Freak leaning out there around the corners, checking for enemies, trying not to expose his entire body. Strong back out. I need help. And as soon as Freak does expose his body, he doesn't get thrown in jail like some people, Lee. What? Well, you shouldn't do that. Silent for the Allies. Destroys the headquarters, earning his team 40 points. It's a close match, Lee. Both teams scrambling for the radio, waiting for it to respawn. And plenty of time left, Kevin. Freak for Team Vulgar runs out into the open areas and gets taken out immediately. Ah. You've got to stick to the cover, Lee. Dockafall for Team Vulgar, securing the radio. Nobody in sight, confidently standing in the open, and he establishes the HQ, secures the radio for his team. The Axis, Team Vulgar, are now in control of this round, Lee. Oh, behind me, behind me. And a fresh respawn as all four members of Team Boodles head out together. There's three of them coming, dude, three of them. Kalamoth tries to dodge the fire, but gets taken out with a well-placed headshot by Neo. Bad Lieutenant takes out Silent for Team Boodles, and Ghost goes down as well. Can't lose oh. that too little, too late as Team Vulgar as the Axis takes round three, takes Call of Duty on rounds 180 to 46, what Kevin. What a close and excellent match, Lee. And in one of our tightest Call of Duty matches yet, both squads utilize the team concept and split the first two rounds. However, it was Vulgar's combination of aggressive offense and conservative defense that made all the difference, and they won the final round and the two points. Now we're going to check in with Stacey Barcelona, who's with Dockafall. Yes, Kevin, Dockafall has been passing judgment on the enemy. How'd you do it? Well, I think it was a combination of uh, communication. We communicate well. We noticed they weren't communicating. The strategy was to hold the radio, set up a perimeter, and it seemed to work for us. He's there. He's behind the building, behind the building. I'm under six, bad. <gasps> watch out, watch out for grenade, grenade. Well, SOCOM, you guys are vets. How's that going to help you win the next round? Well, I think if uh, they haven't played much of SOCOM like we have, we'll have a big advantage knowing the terrain, how to get the hostages in and out in a timely manner. If we could work that with our communications, we're going to do quite well. Well, we'll see if these guys can make it a clean sweep here today. Lee, take it away. I don't know, Stacy. Dr. Fall talking all that strategy. I think it boils down to the military haircut. But Team Vulgar is able to answer the call of duty and take the round. Now, as our team's put on a fresh pair of combat boots for SOCOM 2, why don't you walk your boots over to the computer and check out our website at g4tv.com slash arena, where you can read player profiles and sign up to get your team on this show. Our final showdown is coming up after this on Arena. Welcome back, everyone, to Arena. So far, Team Vulgar has been Team Victor as they've rallied for victories in both DOA Extreme Beach Volleyball and 
Call of Duty, but it's been close. So it's all going to come down to SOCOM 2. Let's go to Kevin and find out who will move one step closer to destination vacation. All right, thank you, Lee. Now our third and final game is SOCOM 2 U.S. Navy SEALs. Before the show, a coin flip determined that Team Vulgar will be the SEALs and Team Boodles will be the opposing force. Now the mode is extraction where the SEALs must infiltrate their opponent's stronghold and rescue a group of hostages. Today's map is Death Trap, which features a military base built into the side of a hill. So let's get to the action and see what happens in SOCOM 2 U.S. Navy SEALs. One. Round one is underway, Kevin. SOCOM 2 U.S. Navy SEALs. Team Vulgar posing as the SEALs while Boodles takes on the mantra of the opposition. Team Vulgar, the seasoned veterans, Lee. These guys are actually in their off time when they're not playing on arena. They're a seasoned SOCOM 2 clan. The objective for Vulgar, find the hostages and rescue them. The objective for Boodles is to thwart finding the hostages and having them be rescued. Oh, here they come, here they come. And down goes Silent for Boodles. And wasting no time, Bad Lieutenant. He secures all three, and now we'll have to lead him back to the chopper. Get to the chopper! And as they exit the base, firefight breaks out. People are getting fragged all around. Freak gets nailed out, and Neil follows suit. Sorry, guys. Coming out the antenna now. It's now three on one in favor of the opposing force, Lee. The opposing force with the advantage of being the hunted, not the hunter. Jared, flank. Go the other way. Yeah. And it looks like Bad LT is going to be successful as he makes his way back to the chopper. So far, one hostage has been rescued. And a second one follows suit, and the third one, and that'll do it. The SEALs are victorious. Team Vulgar takes round one of SOCOM 2. Two. Round two's underway. Now, last round, Lee, we saw Team Vulgar go with a diversion approach. Let's see if Team Boodles can change up their strategy. And I doubt if these guys are going to stand for that this time. I don't believe they are, as we see triple six for Team Boodles guarding the entrance that they went through last time. And Talamoth for Boodles going around, and somehow the SEALs have already managed to get control of all three of the hostages, Lee. Keep them occupied. Keep them occupied. Team Vulgar, these guys really, really, really have a knack for playing this SOCOM 2 game. And fire breaks out as Talamoth goes down, as does Freak. Keep them occupied, Neil. I'm coming around. And Silent and Ghost also get taken out. The bodies are flying everywhere, and the hostages are fleeing for their lives, Lee. Now, normally in SOCOM 2, especially on a map like this, we see a lot of people camping the hostages, but not the case for Team Boodles. Let's see if this alternative strategy pays off for them. I'm getting them. I'm getting them. I'm right on them. Got them. Thank you. Got them. And they just get out gunly. The SEALs are victorious, wasting no time taking down all the members of Team Boodles. Look at that, baby. Three and oh. Three and oh. Three. And Team Vulgar, two rounds to zip as the Navy SEALs. And time and time again, we've seen the U.S. Navy SEALs at a disadvantage here at SOCOM 2. But Team Vulgar seems not to be even concerned with that as they've taken rounds one and two. Well, it's blatantly obvious, Lee, that Vulgar's experience with this game has paid off. But it's, the round is far from over. If they switch up their strategy here and manage to maybe camp some hostages, maybe if they're not so quick rushing out of that base, they can mount a defense here. They're right in front of the base to the left. Team Boodles, I'm not sure if they knew what hit them, Kevin. I think it was bullets, Lee. View of the hostages is silent and takes a prone position. Opting to not stay in the shadows. Let's see if that, that move actually hurts him later on. Well, and down goes 666. As does Tallymoth. Both team members are dropped. Team Vulgar is four strong, and now it's up to the two lone opposition members to thwart the seals. No pressure. Silence hiding in those shadows. Bad Lieutenant making his way down, as does Freak. Oh, oh there's gunfire. Up, up in the bunker, up in the bunker. All right, let me, let me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. He's already inside, it's so bad. Goes for Boodles. On the lower level, normally we see people camp. He's rather visible and rather vulnerable in the position he's in right now, Lee. Ghost is taking some fire. He unloads on a couple of crates. And down goes Ghost, like a ton of bricks. Freak takes him out and then grabs control of the hostages. All three are in his possession now. And a firefight breaks out. He won't even have to bother about bringing him back to the chopper. Send the pilot home. The SEALs are victorious. And Vulgar sweeps all three rounds of SOCOM 2. Good job, folks. Well, it's obvious that Vulgar has spent some quality time with SOCOM 2 as they quickly dispatched Team Boodles. And they left no doubt as to who today's winner is, sweeping the match with an obscene score of 9 to nothing. Now, the team will take home copies of the games that they played on today's show. And Neo will also be going home as the MVP. So let's go to Stacy, who's with him and all the winners. Good job, Neo. Neo, come on up here. 
your time to shine. Congratulations. <laughs> the competition wasn't too tough today, but how are you feeling about being MVP? Feeling pretty good, actually. It feels really good. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Now, anything you'll do differently when you come back and go for win number two? I think uh, when I come back for win number two, I'll try to get some more sleep and maybe uh, be more awake. God, dang, behind us, behind us. Well, we look forward to seeing you back and watching your team try and make it into the Hall of Champions. And with that, let's go over to the pretty boy in the skirt. Well, I'll just say to Neil, I joined the club. I came in a little tired today, was taking a nap, and I woke up, and I looked like this. And it looked like we were in for a squeaker today as we went into sudden death in DOA. And Vulgar came from behind to win Call of Duty, but by slamming the door in SOCOM 2, Team Vulgar left no doubt that they would be our newest champions. And we'll see if they can stay on that road to real palm trees of Destination Vacation. We'll find that out next time on Arena right here. Tech TV as we look at the games taking this year's trip to Gforia, the award show for gamers. This week, meet the nominees for best multiplayer, hottest character, and more. I'll fill you in on the details. Joining the journey starting Friday at 8 p.m. The Road to Gforia Volume 2, presented by EB Games and Jeep.